Keep watching this video and you would know how to look powerful, attractive and at the same time natural on the photos. Look away, so guys, it's better. Shoulders and chest supposed to stay. It's very important body language. I usually give it to us. Pictures look super natural, look slimmer. What to do with the arms? Hello everyone, I'm Daria Kosa. Today I'm doing a video which you was asking a lot about how to pose men for the pictures. My friend George, who is not a professional model, kindly agreed to help us and show how to pose for pictures. Before we dive into the video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. If this is the content you like, give like to this video and put on notification bells. So guys, right now you can see George saying right towards to the camera very important to understand with posing for men that it's supposed to show in more masculinity and show in more shape angles shoulders and chest supposed to stay towards to the camera waist supposed to look slimmer what i would suggest to do i would ask george to turn his whole body like change the angle slightly to the side so you could mirror me like this and then bring your shoulders and your face towards to the camera we just a little bit change the angle let's do a shot but the other question we already get a very good angle with the body but what to do with the arms it's always the question for guys it's better always to give a task because for guys it's harder to pretend like posing let's think what is the most natural things what usually guys do the simplest is to put hands in the pocket george could you try it like this just bring other shoulder a little yes very good the other thing, what also guys could do with their hands, for example, touching the chin, maybe like holding something in your hands, like phone, something looking up there and thinking shut. But how to do like actually you doing the movement like? Yes, perfect. And maybe other hand down. Very good. But keep doing like movement, yes. And look away. Very good. And look at me. Very good. So as you can see, when I'm doing a shot of a guy, I usually give a task because even like for the guy, he's looking always towards to the camera. He starts seeing like in the eyes, they're already tired of doing pictures. That's why I'm trying to give a task like look other way, then looking back to the camera. And that's the way how I could get a really good shot. Look for the last one. We got really good close-up shots when George was touching his chin and I really like them. Right now I was thinking to try a couple more shots, what other things we could do with the hands. One of the idea like touching watches, like adjusting them. Let's try it. Could you try like you like setting up like different date and then look at me? Very good. Okay, guys, we already got some really good shots with the angle a little bit slightly to the side, shoulders towards to the camera. But what about if you'd like to get a few more masculinity shots, but staying more towards to the camera? First of all, I would say very important legs to be apart. Do you remember from my video where I was talking about posing for the women and we were talking about crossing hands? George, may I ask you to cross hands? You see the difference how I crossed the hands and how George did it. And he did it really right for doing it for the guys. Hiding their hands under, pushing slightly to the biceps, it adds more volume and muscle for the arms. Very good. Let's try other things. Features look super natural. Honestly, I think everyone could do that. It's walking shot. I always ask to do slowly walking, looking one side, other side, towards the camera. And at the same time, adjusting things. Rolling sleeve, looking at the phone, calling someone, or adjusting watch again, touching chin, like all the things you could imagine. Two, three steps, like. Very good, great job. What about if you try, if you go from there, like towards me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. And maybe one more, maybe with the pocket, look one side, other side. 
Honestly, I would say shooting in the studio for guys, it would be the hardest part. It's really more about like posing because you don't have all the things around you. So you're more feeling like you're doing photograph. You're not in the environment where a lot of other people like cafe, tables or other things, which is more natural for the shot. Wow, great job. There is one more thing which usually guys do, like for example, when they're talking, they could like just like rolling something in the head, even if there is nothing there, like I would say like soap in them, but just doing it slowly for the shot and you could get very relaxed and nice shot. Could we try it? In men's posing, it's also a great idea using other props like a chair. For example, maybe like leaning a little bit like this. And actually, as you could see, George stands really cool with his knee a little bit out. I would say this pose creating really great diagonals. And also, as you can see right now, George standing more towards the camera, but I slightly changed the angle, which is kind of the same if I would ask George to turn. That's why it's again looks like more shoulders, chest towards to the camera, but still like smaller waist. Very good. With over 11 years of experience, I see a lot of time it's looking for your subject what he or she is doing when you are not shooting. That's the time when they're doing the best poses. For example, when I just put my camera down, I just saw like George, he was standing and put his fist on the waist. I saw that's natural pose for him and it's looking very masculine and great. Also, other thing that for guys, you could also use more lower angle. Guys would look taller and it would look more manly. That's the way I wouldn't say it's a great idea to put hand like this. I would say it would be look more feminine. And if you haven't watched yet my posing tips for women, make sure to check it out. When I have in mind some kind of pose, I usually ask guys to do it first, just trying to explain like, could you sit, could you stand, like leaning somewhere. And I'm trying to see how nature is they doing it. And then I'm trying just a little bit to adjust it so their face expression still looks more natural and it looks like more comfortable pose for them. I just asked George to sit and that's how he sits. It's already pretty good. I would ask him right now maybe to put one of the legs down. I'm not telling right or left. That's how he would create pose which I want, but one which is more comfortable for him. And again, to look more manly, it's a great idea from this pose. Change it a little bit slightly to the angle and then like bring in shoulders and chest towards to the camera and maybe like leaning a little bit more forward. Mm -hmm. What's up? <laughs> The most powerful pose for guys, also it's talking about body language, it's doing like this with the hands. Could you do it again like you was feeling more comfortable, like you was doing like this? Yeah, very good. We changed the pose from standing to sitting, but what to do with the hands, still kind of the same. Like touching chain, adjusting things like watches. If you have glasses, you could play with the glasses. Or rolling sleeve, putting one hand in the pocket. All the things kind of the same. Or holding something in the hands, for example, phone. That's also a great option. Very good. Let's try to do shot more natural lifestyle, which is more popular like on Instagram. Like you doing shot, like you pretending you're not doing a photograph, like more paparazzi style. Again, I would tell when you're shooting a guy, it's very important not overpose a guy because when 
guy starts posing a lot and you're trying to direct him a lot, it would already look more feminine on the shot. And we definitely don't want to have this. And again, when I stop for a second, just give a little bit more freedom for George. He adjusts the pose, which is looking super great. And more relaxed, natural, but still masculine. I decided to try to do very close-up shots. That's why I'm changing again chair. And honestly, I would say when it's coming for posing, I still prefer more to show what kind of pose I would like to get from the person, even then explain those all details, because sometimes it's very hard to get the same understanding with it. So right now I was thinking to do very, very close up shots. It would be like very close up. So I was thinking maybe doing like this, and like thinking, looking at the watch, maybe like playing with the hair. For close-up shots, I decided to switch for 85 prime lens, aperture 1.2. Let's try to do very, very close-up shot. Maybe if you lean, look away. I think that goes down like this. Yeah. Look at me. Maybe chin down a little bit. Could you like kind of adjust in hair? Yes. Maybe if you put your elbow on the chair. Very good. Other also great thing, just tilt your head a little bit to the side. It still look more natural and great close up shot. Look at those. Oh my God, that's awesome. Beautiful. Great. Guys, if you already enjoyed watching this video, please give us a like and make sure to subscribe to my channel. And let's switch our location a little bit. Here we have a wall, which is also a great source of helping with posing. That's how you could lean there or maybe stand a little bit to the side, which is making more natural pose and relax. Perfect. Actually, do you remember how he was doing like powerful pose like this? Yeah. Can you cross your legs and bring like opening your knee a little bit more? Again, you could blend like fixing your hair. Yes. A little bit more up. Mm-hmm. Very good. And look this way. Look at me. Very good. And cross your hands, then you can look in this way. Great job, very good. You just saw a very great example. Just simple wall could help you with posing. I feel it's easier when you're already like leaning to something, you're feeling more safe. Let's also try to do couple shots, just simply sitting on the floor, but also leaning a little bit to the wall. Very good. Bend your knee a little bit, but looking great. Maybe sit like this. Yes, that's perfect. Very good. Let's also try and find the same pose with the legs, but a little bit if you sit into the side. Like just slightly change your angle to that side. Very good. And we could also add some laughing shots. Maybe look to the side. Smile, laugh, look back to the camera. <laughs> Great job. It's a wrap. Okay, five. So, George, tell me how you like today's experience with the posing. Oh my God, that was a lot of fun. It was great experience for me. Honestly, that's my second time having a photo shoot, and both times I have them with with Daria, and it's always a great experience. I have absolutely zero experience in modeling, posing, and uh, every time like Daria is very helpful, like it's super professional, makes everything like comfortable for you. The way she moves, the the way she talks, you know, like that that that's a great experience, and I'm really I'm super excited to see the final pictures. Yeah.
Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. You did a great job. I saw like in the very beginning it was maybe a little bit shy, but then you start already feeling all the poses because, and making it great. That's, be, that's because of you. It's a teamwork. Yeah. yeah, great job. Thank you. Yeah. So remember, all of you handsome, just try to follow in these tips and create magic. For all of men who, who are watching this video, even if you're like completely with zero experience in modeling and posing and you're still hesitating with uh, scheduling your first photo shoot, I can tell you for sure, don't think twice, don't waste your time, just DM Daria and according to my experience, you will get the great results and you will be really surprised with uh, what, what, what you're capable of. So you don't even know that. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have fun trying those posing tips, creating great pictures. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, give like to this video, hit notification bell so you don't miss any new video. See you next week. Bye.